Good day everyone. Namaste. I am Reverend Father Joseph Lagumbay and I'm from the Catholic Universalist Church. Um, we are an independent jurisdiction of the One Holy Catholic Church and uh, we are Catholic. We also perform the sacraments but we are not affiliated with the Roman Catholic Church because our take when it comes to the teachings is quite different from the teachings that is propagated by the Roman Catholic Church. However, we do not claim that we are better than other Christian churches. However, our expression of our faith is somewhat a diversity or an evolution of uh, the Christian church. All right? So today, uh, mga kaibigan, no, pag-uusapan natin what are the steps to follow if you are experiencing uh, spiritual awakening because I often I know I often get this question a lot especially from my friends in the spiritual community when I had my spiritual awakening experience it was hard because first of all wala pang Facebook dati or there was Facebook pero hindi pa siya ganun kasikat unlike today na marami ng spiritual uh, groups or spiritual communities within Facebook dati when I had my spiritual awakening it was very hard for me because it seems that Nobody understands me. Walang nakakaintindi sa akin kahit pamilya ko, kahit mga kabarkada ko. No? <laughs> Iniwan na nila ako lahat. Kasi they think I'm crazy. They think that, you know, I'm, I'm being um, somewhat heretical. I am being blasphemous. Uh, because I started questioning things about religion, about politics, about how the whole world is, is running. And I don't know if you get my point. If you are in that... A specific um, path right now is spiritual awakening. I know that you will be able to relate. So during that time when I was having the spiritual awakening experience, I actually stopped going to church. Like I didn't go to church um, because I didn't feel like going to church because I think that something is wrong or um, hindi naman talaga something is wrong but something is not right. Or maybe perhaps yung mga sinasabi ng pare o pastor, maybe there is something more deeper than that. And something is being hidden to us. And it seems to me that religion is a whole, uh, you know, mind-controlling uh, business. Uh, for me, religion, during that time when I was having my spiritual awakening experience, it seems that religion um, is, is a manipulative uh, force that tries to cage us. Okay? And then during that time, ang dami kong ni-research, ang dami kong binabasa, halo-halo na. And I started exploring other religious traditions and other spiritual practices. And I think, oh, this makes sense, and this makes sense, this makes sense. So halo-halo na lahat. So I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have a, a, a specific group na makakatulong sa akin on how to navigate when I had this spiritual awakening experience. Now today, I am going to share with you... Um, my advice based on my experience on how to handle if you are already in that path of spiritual awakening. So number one, eto, eto talaga pinaka-advice ko, don't leave your church, right? Um, as much as possible, don't act weird at first. You may 
try to you know communicate to others what you are feeling right now what you are you know experiencing right now but you know um, don't push it onto their throats na hey pray mali yan tinuturo sa simbahan listen to me eto yung totoo don't do that because spiritual awakening it is a subjective experience it is you who is experiencing that and it is unique unto you because maybe your soul has achieved that specific level that you are already ready for uh, the higher teachings or, or the higher truths we call that the esoteric teachings or the inner the hidden uh, teachings so if you are already in that uh, specific uh, path wag mong ipush sa iba yung nalalaman mo keep it to yourself first what you need to do is you need to practice meditation. There are a lot of meditation practices over the internet, but you start with the meditation focusing on breathing because you need to calm your mind and your body, your mind and your soul needs to be aligned. We call that attunement. You need to attune, you need to be properly grounded para hindi ka mawala sa dami ng information na nakukuha mo sa paligid mo. Maraming conspiracy theories, may mga aliens, may mga psychedelics, may mga ibang religious tradition, may Hinduism, Buddhism, mysticism, Western mystery traditions. and dami. and dami. So, you need to be grounded first. Alright? Um, as much as possible, huwag mo nang ihalo-halo yung mga teachings. Be grounded. Alright? Don't act weird. Just meditate in silence. Diba nasa Bible, you pray in silence. Close your room, pray in silence, meditate. Calm your mind. Don't act weird. Don't leave your church because um, you need that community that will boost you. So, mama, explain ko yan. Um, <clears throat> however, however, eto, if your church is somewhat um, hindi na siya nagre-resonate sa yo, if your church instead of spreading love, spreading peace, uh, spreading compassion, if your church is doing the opposite, then I think you need to leave your church and find a different group that you know you feel more at peace with. Diba? Kasi mahirap naman na sumama ka sa uh, ganong klaseng organization. Number two, diba? You already started meditating. So, next is you need to find a path that really resonates with you. So, dyan ka na magde-decide kung talagang uh, aalis ka ba sa church mo or ipagpapatuloy mo yung church mo pero may ipapractice kang iba na spiritual tradition. Or pwede din na if you leave your church, you focus on the spiritual tradition. So, you know, you need to discern because like me before, um, when I had my spiritual awakening experience, um, I stopped going to church. Naging weirdo ako. Ah, hindi ako maintindihan ng family ko. Hindi din ako naintindihan ng mga friends ko. Parang, I, I, I did my research outside, over the internet, reading books, talking to some people who are in the spiritual path. Naging halo-halo siya. So, wala akong focus. So, wala akong focus pinaghalo-halo ko na lahat ng spiritual practices. Well, there's nothing wrong with that in the initial stages. You can, you know, test the waters, yes. But find what path is most suitable for you. Kung ano yung nag, uh, nagiging, ano, uh, find that path na resonates, it, that, that resonates within your soul. Because there's a specific path for everyone. That's why there are so many religious traditions, there are so many spiritual traditions because it matches with the temperament of the person. So, ako, later on, I realized that I came back to Christianity. However, the Christianity, the brand of Christianity that is, you know, very appealing to me, that resonates within me, is the esoteric Christianity or the mystical Christianity we call Gnosticism. So, Gnosticism is, let's say, um, maybe a few steps deeper than the exoteric or the mainstream uh, Christianity. Well, uh, I'm Am I trying to say that Gnosticism is better than mainstream Christianity? Actually, no. It's just a different expression of the faith. Of, of the faith. Just, you know, a little bit deeper. Um, in us, for us, um, we interpret things metaphorically, not literally. Okay? So, for Gnostics like me, in a church, I'm a priest in our church, um, I do not advise people to leave their churches if they want to follow Gnosticism. Because Gnosticism, this is an internal understanding um, this is what we call gnosis gnosis means knowing this is an inner knowing a realization that you are actually a divine being within you lies the spirit of god and you need to tap on that and you need to access that and all the sacraments all the rituals in the church these are just tools a meditative meditative tools 
so that we will be aligned or we will be attuned to God. So all that we practice outward is actually just a trigger so that we go inward. So that's how we interpret things. So it came later on to me na Gnosticism pala yung path ko. So bumalik ako sa Christianity but you know, few steps deeper. But before that, I tried to explore Buddhism, Hinduism, all the isms in the world, Sufism, and I like those paths. However, it didn't have that connection within me. But when I found Gnosticism, I found the connection immediately because I was raised as a Roman Catholic and Christianity makes sense to me. However, when I realized that there is a deeper interpretation of the Christian scriptures, yun yung path na finalo ko. Kaya, it's really important that you follow one path. Be grounded in that path. You can, you know, add some Hindu meditation. You can add some Buddhist meditation. You can add some, you know, uh, prescribed diet from, from Islam. It's alright. As long as you are grounded with your uh, path or with your tradition. Okay? Number three is you need to find, ito ang pinakamatindi, you need to find a mentor or a teacher that has an authentic lineage of that specific tradition that you have chosen. Kasi um, ngayon, ang dami ng ano, ang dami ko nakikita sa Facebook na there are really um, teachers who are really not teachers because they don't know what they're talking about. All they want is money. Second, they want to control you. They want to manipulate you. And number three, they want to get sexual advantages from you. So, these three characteristics of fake and false teachers, ang dami niya nagkalat sa paligid. Kaya nga, di ba, yung mga pare at mga pastor, sinasabi nila na huwag kayong sumama sa mga taong ganyan kasi kulto yan. Well, there is a grain of truth in, in those words because ang dami din kasi mga naglalabas ang mga, mga fake teachers ngayon. Um, I'll just, I, I'm, I'm not trying to drop names here, but you will know and you will understand if, you know, makita mo sila. Um, through time, you will realize na talagang iba, iba yung focus nila. Instead, you uh, evolving and developing to become a better individual, to be a better uh, practitioner of that specific path, wala, wala ka natututunan. Nauubusan ka lang ng pera, kinukuha lang niya yung time mo, at ginagamit lang niya katawan mo. Yun yung matindi. So, um, but it is really hard, really, to to find a spiritual teacher or a mentor. So, there's an alternative to that. Instead of finding a mentor, if you really can't find a spiritual teacher that has authentic lineage of succession, like there is really a master to disciple transmission, kung wala ka makitang ganyan, then at least find a community, uh, an honest, warm uh, community that promotes your spiritual growth. And that community needs to be aligned to your spiritual path. For example, yung mga, yung mga Buddhists, di ba? Uh, may tinatawag silang Sangha. So, sa Sangha, isang temple yon kung saan lahat ng mga monks ay nandun. Um, yung mga witches, those who are practicing Wicca, uh, ano sila, uh, nag-grupo sila. Alright? So, meron ding iba. Uh, in Christianity, di ba? You, you group together in one church. So, parang ganun. You need to have a support system. Someone who encourage you or a group of people who will encourage you to, you know, to become better. Uh, a group of people who will encourage you to really follow that path and uh, go straight within that path, di ba? Kasi kung ikaw-ikaw lang, mahirap yun. So, at least there will be some guides along the way. And you need, th that group needs to be an honest group. Alright? Yung hindi ba, walang ano, walang nagpa-power tripping, walang nagmamaster-masteran. <laughs> um, that group needs to be, you know, a group of like-minded people. And you can find a lot on, on Facebook right now, but, you know, just be careful in choosing the groups that you, 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 you join. Okay? Number four is that reassessment. Siyempre, you are starting to practice your spiritual practice. Um, ito yung point wherein kine-question mo na sarili mo, am I really in the right path? Tama ba itong landas na tinaha ko? Tama ba itong grupo na pinasukan ko? Tama ba itong teacher na sinusunod ko? Because darating yung panahon that you will realize something. It's either you progress or you stagnate. Kapag nag-stagnate ka, you ask yourself, is this really the path na nagre-resonate sa akin? Baka pinili ko lang tong path na to kasi it sounds cool. Kasi gusto kong maging witch, gusto kong maging makapangyarihan, gusto kong matuto ng western magic. But this is really not the path that resonates within me. Ano ba talaga gusto ko? Di ba? So, that's the time when you reassess and you know, you you 
you pause for a while and you think of you know um, alternatives you discern you go deep within you ano ba talaga ang path na gusto ko what really resonates within me what does my soul want siguro um, you're just experiencing what we call the dark night of the soul once you follow a specific path no you will experience a lot of hardships in life and that's the irony of it it's because according sa mga spiritual teachers na, na nagturo din sa akin dati na you will experience the dark night of the soul because your karma is being burned while you are following a straight path towards towards light or towards goodness diba if if something uh, is being put into closer to the fire diba umiinit siya hanggang sa susunog so ganun din we are being purified because we are following a specific path so sometimes that phase 4 the assessment part iniisip mo na ah baka hindi ito ang path para sa akin kasi simula nang nagfollow nagfollow ako ng path na to daming problema nangyari but no hindi sometimes it's not like that Sometimes you are in the right path, however, you are just experiencing a different phase or the dark night of the soul. You are just purging because when you follow the specific path, um, the gem in you needs to come out. The divinity in you needs to come out. The real you needs to come out. So everything that is impure about you is being burned. So, you know, relax, uh, be grounded, and, you know, assess. Magbalik tanaw ka. All right, so that's it. Assessment. So it's either you leave that path and you follow a different path because you, you realize na iba pala talaga yung gusto mo, or you progress in that path. And number five, which is the final step, I call this um, enlightenment. When you are in that in that uh, phase of, of enlightenment, according to the uh, the Upanishads, no human beings are already enlightened. It's just that because of our false uh, notions or you know false ideas about enlightenment, we forget our enlightenment. And once we follow a specific spiritual path, we realize that we are already enlightened while following that path. According to my teacher before, he said that there is no uh, goal but the path. The path is actually the goal. It took me seven years to realize what, what he meant. I realized that once you follow pala a specific spiritual path, that is already the goal. Spirituality is actually the goal. No? Um, when you follow a spiritual path, you don't follow it to achieve something in the end. You actually follow it because that is your true nature. Because we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. We are not human beings having a temporary spiritual experience. Rather, we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. That's why when we follow a specific spiritual path, we are living to our most natural state. We are being the spiritual beings that we truly are. And that is enlightenment. So, I hope that this makes sense. And I hope na yung mga nakikinig dyan, no? Um, just follow um, the, the steps that I have uh, shared with you. Because this will really help you navigate uh, your life if you are experiencing a spiritual awakening. So yeah, I think that's it for today, folks. And if this is your first time watching my videos, no, please pakihit hit yung uh, subscribe button, paki like na din po ng video na to, and you know share this with your friends. Leave a comment below. What do you think about um, the topic that I have shared today? And thank you for watching. Namaste.